Hello there. This is the family doctor. No, Mother, this is a beautiful dinner. It really does you credit, and it does me proud to know I'm married to a fine woman like you. Mm-hmm. Yep, this roast pork, this applesauce, these lima beans. Yeah. It isn't every man that's as lucky as me, Mother. No, sir, Bob. Well, what is it this time, Grant? Hmm? What's that? What is it you want this time? What? What do you mean, Oh, I can always tell that whenever you start calling me mother and telling me how good my cooking is, you're just about to ask me to do something. Or let you do something. Hey, oh, gosh, to righty, Lou. You sure know men, don't you? <laughs> Not all men, Grant. Just you. Mm, kind of glad you do. Sort of keeps me from going too far astray. You going astray? <laughs> oh, Grant, how you talk. Well, I guess I do want you to do something for me, Lou. Well, what is it? You know the Ned Parkinses out on the Holgate Road? Oh, yes. That young couple who didn't seem to be getting along very well. Now, Lou, that was a long time ago. Two or three years ago. They're getting along all right now. Got a little ranch going strong out there. A few chickens, rabbits. Mm, they're doing right well. Well, what about them, Grant? They're expecting the first member of the family. Oh, no. Isn't that fine? When? Tomorrow morning. I think that's just wonderful. You know, Grant, mm -hmm. I was a little afraid from the way young Mrs. Parkins talked last year that they might separate. Oh. The hard times and all seem to sort of make their living together harder than it should have been. Mm -hmm. And uh, he used to uh, drink some, didn't he? Yeah, no. Well, if they did have any thoughts of separating, they sort of settle things once and for all. <laughs> yeah, fine place to raise a youngster, too, out in the country like that. I should say. Yeah. Mother, do you think you could come along with me tomorrow morning? Why, of course. Don't I always go with you whenever you ask me? Yes, you do, Lou, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you. Now I can enjoy this roast pork and applesauce in comfort and peace. Now, you sit still, Grant. I'll answer this. Mm. Hello? Yes, this is Dr. Adams' residence. Oh, hello, Mattie. Well, the doctor is right at dinner now. I wonder, could he call you just a little bit later? Hmm? Oh, my goodness. Just a moment. Uh, what is it, Lou? What's the matter with Mattie? It isn't Mattie. She's up at the Parkinson's. Grant, I think you better talk to her. Yeah, yeah, all, all right, I'll, I'll talk to her. Hello? Yes, Maddie? What? I'll be right out. Come on, Lou. We haven't got any time to lose. We've got to get out to the Parkins place right away. What? Now you know you shouldn't be running all over town with that cold you have. And at night, too. Oh, bother the cold. I'll be all right. Bring me my flannel muffler while I, I get the car out. <laughs> Come on, Lou. Oh, I 
hope we're not too late. Adams, I'm so glad you got here so quick. Just go right in. Oh, how do, Miss Adams? Good evening, Matthew. Oh, Grant, let me know if there's anything I can do. Uh, get some boiling water and put a teaspoon of that number five solution in it. Then bring it to me. Yes, Grant. Right away. Here's the kitchen through here, Miss Adams. Oh, thank you. I I'll get you a pan. Thanks. I wonder, is that stove hot enough, Matthew? I'll put some more coal in right away. It's burning right well now. Shouldn't take long. Boo, bring my case. You took it with you, Grant. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. I've got it. Uh, Matthew, uh, where's uh, Mr. Parkins? Oh, I knew you'd ask that, Mrs. Adams. He's not here. Well, where... I don't know, and poor Mrs. Parkins don't know either. She's awful worried. He went out early this morning, she said, and he ain't been back since. I just happened to drop in, making calls for the lady's aid, you know. Yes. And I found Mrs. Parkins all alone. I've been with her all afternoon and evening, except when I ran down to the gas station at the crossroads to phone the doctor. Oh, ain't it a shame? Yes, it is. Mrs. Parkins is so worried for fear her husband might take up to drinking again. Uh, oh, why doesn't this water boil? Well, I say a watched pot never boils. Uh, there. I think it's beginning now. Yes, it's boiling. Hello, bring that water, please. Right away, Grant. Why, isn't the doctor excited? It must be a question of time now. Well, there's no doubt about it, Matthew. Whenever Dr. Adams acts impatient like that, it's no longer a question of minutes. It's seconds. There's no more need of me staying around. No, Maddie, you can go. Mrs. Adams and I can take care of things now. Thank you heaps for all your help. Have you got some way to get back into town? We'd be glad to take you. No, thank you just the same. I got my automobile with me. It's right around the back. Well, I... Somebody's coming. Oh, it's probably Mr. Parkins. Well, hello, folks. Good evening, Mr. Parkins. Well, I was just leaving. Good night. Good night, Maddie. Good night. Thanks, Mr. Parkins. Parkins. Good evening, Mrs. Adams. Evening, Mr. Parkins. Hello, Doctor. Hello, Ned. <clears throat> well, I think I'll go out to the car and wait for you there, Grant. All right, Lou. All right, I'll be right out. Well, gee, is anything wrong? I don't know, Ned. What do you think? Me? Well, gee, I, I don't know. I just thought maybe something had happened. All you folks here and everything... Nothing has happened, has it? Oh, well, Ned, a lot of things can happen in a short time, you know. The world moves pretty fast. Doesn't take Doctor. long. Yes, Ned? Margaret. Nothing's happened to her, has it? Well, uh... She's all right, isn't she? Oh, yes. yes. She's all right. Well, gee, I'm glad she... Listen. Doctor! Huh? Am I hearing things? Well, yes, I guess you might say you are hearing something. Oh, Doc! Why didn't you tell me? Gee, can I go right in? Uh, Ned, uh, you don't think Margaret might uh, catch on, do you? Catch on? What do you mean? Well, haven't you had a couple of nips, Ned? Oh, Doc. With us expecting our baby, you don't think I'd do a thing like that, do you? Well, uh... Gee, Doc, I haven't touched the stuff for over a year. Uh, has Margaret been worried about where I've been today? Well, uh, yes, she has, Ned. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. 
But you said that, well, you said it wouldn't happen until tomorrow morning. Doc, look, Margaret thinks I've been making all of our money, what little we have, off the ranch here. Oh, yes? But I haven't. Gee, this little place won't even pay for itself for another couple of years. Doc, I've been going around the neighboring towns cutting wood. Cutting wood? I didn't want to do it around Cedarton here, because I knew how Margaret felt about the ranch. I didn't want folks to tell her that I had to cut wood during a living. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, there's nothing wrong about cutting wood, is there? No, I guess not. But, well, we did have our hopes up pretty high on the ranch, and when it didn't pan out as soon as we expected... Uh, I understand, Ned. And with your first baby coming, you didn't want to worry Margaret. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it. Oh, gee, Doc. Our first baby. <laughs> can I go in now, Doc? Sure, you can. And you'll find a list of things you'd better get tomorrow. It's uh, on the bureau there. Oh, thanks, Dr. Adams. And, uh, Ned, I'm sorry about what I said about the, uh, the nips. Ni- oh, oh, that's all right. Uh, uh, Ned, come around to my house tomorrow. I'll have a cord of wood that'll have to be cut. I think it's about time you started working up a business here in Cedarton. Gee, thanks, Doc. I... I guess you're right. Well, good night, Ned. Good night. See you tomorrow. You bet. And thanks, Doc. Oh, Bran, is everything all right? Sure, of course, everything's all right, honey. And now we're going home and finish that roast pork and applesauce. Roast pork and applesauce? Mm, no, we're not. Uh-uh. What, what do you mean, honey? We're going home, all right. But you're not getting any more to eat. What you're going to get is a nice, big, hot mustard plaster on your chest. Oh, Lou, gosh, to Friday. <laughs> Doctor, I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>